everybody, it's Danny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Rusty from Whimsy Stamps. He is part of the Polycraft collection and I'm making a manly card today. So I've got the image already printed out onto some expressive blending card. He is a digital stamp so printing it on my laser printer does make him completely Copic safe. So I'm pulling out uh, some of my W markers today, something I don't use very often, no reason why. Um, I just love the colour tone to the warm grey markers. So not a lot of markers used on this image, obviously. He needs to be nice and grey. So mainly just the W markers and then I do pull in a yellow marker to add to his lights on the side of his head there. So I'm getting a nice good blend with this image. He's absolutely beautiful, turning out perfectly. And I am going to fussy cut him out. So I'll be using my Expressit, um, not Expressit, my EK Success uh, Cutter Bee Scissors. They're my go-to for fussy cutting. And I'll be fussy cutting him out just using a small border. All right, so the paper collection we have here is from Casercraft. This is the Sears and Sun 6.5 inch pad. Some really cute, nice manly kind of colours and um, papers. So... I did pick out this sentiment here from this page here. It says, Father knows best. And I loved this clock page, so I'll be using that for the inside of the card. So I'm decorating the inside of the card as well as the front of the card all at the same time. So that's the inside of the card done. Um, it is still light enough for someone to write on, but if someone does request, I'm happy to add a rectangle of white so that they can write on it a bit, little bit clearly. So here I am just playing with some patterned papers. This one here, I did cut the corner out, still leaving the bike, so I could possibly use that for another card. And I've got some American Crafts cardstock that I've cut down to make the matte layers. So I haven't stuck anything down yet as I wasn't completely 100% sure what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to run this sentiment through just using a lawn fawn stitched circle die so I could make sure that he is absolutely circular. I'm not the best at cutting circular things. So here I am just fussy cutting the image just using those cutter bee scissors. Just remembering to make sure that you're moving the image rather than the scissors and I'm just cutting off sections as I go so that I don't get in my way. So I've got some stars here from the EK Success Star Confetti Punch and I've just punched those out just using some of the leftovers from that black cardstock and I'm just looking through for some more layers to add on. So I don't actually end up using that scallop piece that I cut. This one here I've just banded up just using my scissors and I'm going to go ahead and start adding in all of the stars and the sentiment and adhering all of those smaller pieces down using my Helmer acid-free liquid adhesive. I am playing around with some more layers here, but I actually don't end up using them. So just adding on another banner to the top there. It just needed to bring in a little bit more of that gray. Although you don't end up seeing much of it, it is still there and I know that it's there. So popping that image down onto the card and here I am just playing with some more of those stars, trying to get as many as I could onto the card. And then I will start adding all of those layers down. I had a little bit of white scrap on my desk, so I punched some stars out from that as well. And I just keep those to the side of my desk for other projects and things. I don't like wasting any small bits of cardstock either, so I punch out stars and hearts and things to use on other projects. This is my go-to for stars. Love this punch. It's always sitting on my desk. So I'll just get rid of all of those excess bits. Waste not want not as they say. All right, let's start adhering all of those big layers down now. I'm just having a look. I've got a couple of little drawers to the side of my desk where I put all of those little off cuts and I found all these little gorgeous little moustaches in there. So I'm going to add one to the image so he looks like he's got a little moustache on and I'll also be adding one to that sentiment as well. I did have some cogs and things here that I wanted to try and add in on the card, but I actually didn't end up using any of them. So just adhering all those stars down now and the bigger sections using my Scotch ATG gun. And then we will adhere everything to the Kuja Creations card base. So 
I'm now going to go in finally and add some Deruvan um, Kinder Glitz. Love the glitter that that brings to the card. And, you know, just because it's a man card doesn't mean that you can't have any glitter on it. You just need to think about where you're putting it. So this is my card just about done. Um, I'm just having a look through if there's anything else that I can add to the card. There actually won't be, so you can ignore all of this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my card done. So I've taken quite a few photos, so I'll um, just flick all of those through shortly and show you guys nice and close-ups of all of the card. Popping all my labels on. And my card is complete. So I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to go and check out the Whimsy Stamp Shop. This little guy will be in the digital stamps underneath the Polycraft collection. Have fun. Bye.